Hi everybody, it's me Ligar Lachin again. I'm back doing a review and I'm proud about doing this review. Uh, this is an exciting and very, very, um, very great emulator What I'm going to show you guys. Everybody wanted to get the OUYA player or getting one of those devices, make your computer seem like an Android. Um, why do you need to go through the trouble? There's this program called uh, BlueStacks. The icon looks like this. If I can focus it. There, boy, it looks like that. Uh, I'm going to put a link below, it's called Blue, Blue Stacks. So when you um, run it, I love my wallpaper, that's the longest journey. I used to have a girlfriend that used to dress up like that. Now Blue Stacks is an emulator, um, actually, hold on, give me a second. Oh wow, okay, this is Blue Stacks. As you can see, um, yeah. It's an Android emulator for free. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me try Vector. And since this BlueStacks do support the Android, uh, what do you call it, the Logic Tech controller, which the Logic Tech controller enables you to do is that um, because Logic Tech controller is basically a Xbox 360 controller. That's it. This is Grand Theft Auto. On right here, right now, on my Windows 7 computer, you can see that I have my Windows 7, and this is the mirror. This is this is the program. Um, because there are games out there that don't even come out on Windows. Apps, uh, they call it. You can actually side load. That's what they call in the Ouya player. Side loading is another way. I'm calling it, and it does full 3D acceleration. The only thing is the bottom menu, you notice that it's missing some of the icons that the Jelly Bean icon do have. You do have the home button over here that's colorful, which is this. You have the back button, the menu button, setting button, share button, and what is this? Screen size, uh, toggle full screen. And it supports full touch. So this is an example. Let me quit this game. Now, uh, let's see what else. I'm still trying to get Vector to run. For some reason, this is a beta. This program is still a beta. Inspecting content. Yeah, forgive me, it's actually 4.37 in the morning. I'm still awake. I've been repairing computer. Oh, wow, this is Vector with Logic Tech support. Logic Tech. So, uh, basically, the Logic Tech controller. Well, this is not a Logic Tech controller. This is an Xbox 360. It's basically a 360 controller, but wired. And, and if you saw that picture. And I believe whatever, I hope it does rumble. So why buy an Ouya when you already have a computer? An Ouya is for people who likes high definition gaming on a full screen. Whatever tablet gaming goes straight on a full screen. This is Vector. I mean, you, you kind of notice I'm using the mouse. Alright, I'm going to quit this. Now, just to tell you guys about this program. Um, just to tell you guys, when you guys have APK files and you're going to guys sideload it, you just have to run Explorer and all my APK files gives me this icon. So you're able to run your, your, your Android, pro, uh, Android apps. And I gotta admit, it's very, very, uh, I, I mean, I love this. I mean, why do I need to get the Ouya player? So, if you go to the Blue Stacks uh, website, Blue Stacks, 
Let me go here, website, Blue Stacks. When you go to the Blue Stacks website, they also advertise the new Game Pop. The Game Pop is identical. Uh, let me go to pre order. It's like a Netflix uh, subscription. Game Pop comes with um, a Logitech controller, and let me show you this is a video. What if you could play the best selling games for mobile? on your TV. Introducing GamePop. GamePop is a subscription that brings all your favorite mobile games to TV for just $6.99 a month. Cool, huh? Your GamePop console comes preloaded with loads of top paid games that would cost hundreds of dollars on your phone. You control the games using the gamepad that comes with your console or use motion control from your iPhone or Android. Through the end of May only, you get the console and the game controller included free with your subscription of just $6.99 a month. 500 games, over $200 worth of titles on mobile, come included free, and they'll be constantly updated with new hit titles. The future of mobile gaming is coming to your TV. Click subscribe and become one of the founding subscribers of GamePop. So what do you guys think? All right, the Ouya was a great, decent unit. It was the first. Um, uh, to be honest, when I look at the the Ouya player, it was not really the first Android uh, console like that. Um, side loading games. There was a JXD product already, which is a portability with fake PSP looking running on the Android operating system. But before that, there was the JXD M1000. And it looked like this. I actually had it for about a few days until I had to sell it because I didn't really enjoy it. But it was, it plays Super Nintendo games and your NES and PlayStation 1. But basically the unit before you have to update the firmware. After you update the firmware, you're able to play PlayStation 1 games. Yeah, and I mean uh, Super Nintendo games. The only thing is the games run really choppy, unplayable. It's only good for RPG games and certain games. And it was very choppy. So the Ouya player, um, I, I gotta admit, uh, Ouya... You're doing a great job, you guys. I mean, Kickstarter, please, man. You guys are the only, um, I don't know how to say it, but you guys are the only console that ever made it to the E3 show. And I know one thing, I smoke a cigarette to it. I mean, like, I know this, um, Blue Stacks and Game Pop will, will, will succeed as well, but I hope you guys can update your firmware, because so far this Blue Stacks is perfectly running, no inconvenience at all, uh, with controller, up, um, support, but yet... Please update your firmware because you're, you, I mean, Ouya has the best, it's the best so far that's released. But when these systems comes out, they're going to be able to hack it. I mean, that's the, Ouya made a great way of describing what gamers want. Basically, emulation. It's a hobbyist uh, console. So, yeah. But I thank you guys for watching, for checking out the best uh, way to play APK files. It's not really an Android emulator. But yet, it's an APK runner. It runs every single apps that you can imagine of. And also, in the future, I am going to show you how to run burnt games on an, a legit PSP. I know out there people are saying, yeah, you got fake PSPs, but yeah, this is a real PSP. Look at this, boy. This is my real, this is actually, this is a real PSP go. Alright. If I can get this son of a biscuit out. Okay, but yeah, it's a real PSP Go. I have an add-on on it, so so I'm able to see this is a PSP Go, an authentic Sony, because all my fake stuff says JXD. See, so I don't like playing it like this, but I do admit like playing it like this, because it feels just like a PlayStation controller, and it's the best way to play for me because I have the handle and plus I have all the games on Earth, so I am going to show you guys how you can be able to play games on this so adding games for free not our demos so, even in and even PS1 games thanks for watching